Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we understand that we might be held up from traffic from a few people that were planning on coming this evening, but I do thank you for making the effort for joining us here tonight. Uh, we'll be hearing from uh, Ian Lee in a few moments, but I wanted to say a few words uh, to tell you what's happening in Ottawa Centre, tell you a little bit about the things that we're hearing at the door, and to let you know that we're making good strides, good, good progress, we're getting good support on the ground. Uh, the other day we went canvassing and uh, we ran into, uh, we were in a building, we ran into a, into a voter who asked the, the ongoing question about being in Ottawa Centre and being a Conservative in Ottawa Centre and that question was, why would I even bother? It's always been Liberal or NDP, why would I bother voting Conservative? So we had a conversation with the gentleman and we talked about the things what the government has been doing for the last nine years. We have talked, we talked a bit of what the government wants to do for the next few years, but more importantly, we talked about some of the things that we can make better for him by voting for PC, whether it's creating jobs, whether it's about his children uh, getting an education or getting a skilled trade or being able to find a job and not having to leave the province in order to do that. So we talked about these, these different things that were in our platform, that were in our plan for Ontario to make Ontario working and to make Ontario better and to make Ontario overall a place where people want to come back and live and be a part of what's happening every single day. Well that one conversation turned out from a gentleman saying why bother to a gentleman saying I know why I should bother now and I know why I should bother voting PC especially in Ottawa Centre where it's, it's important where we have people who live in this riding who are vulnerable. We have people who are students, we have men and women that are looking for a different way to live in Ontario and a different way to prosper in Ontario. And they're downtown because they can't afford to live anywhere else. So we need to be able to help those voters in Ottawa Centre and show them that there is a way and there is a better way to have them working and a better way to have Ontario working once again. So we've been doing this for quite a while now, we've been since the you know the writ officially dropped on the seventh of May, but we were going well before that, with uh, with Kathleen Wynne sort of pseudo announcing that we were going the week before. So uh, we've had our canvas teams out on a regular basis every day, uh, talking to voters, talking about what we're going to do, and what I always find interesting is that what we don't have to talk about or what we don't have to initiate are the conversations about gas plants because it's the residents of Ottawa Centre that tell us about the gas plants. We don't have to tell them about it. Tim Hudak and the rest of the PC caucus have done an amazing job in reinforcing with the voters of Ottawa Centre that we have a government which is unethical in how they've been running this government and running this province for the last nine years. They've been uh, Tim and the PC caucus have been ongoing and hammering about how we have a government which has been wasting billions of dollars and billions of dollars that could go into health care, billions of dollars that could go into helping uh, our skilled trade workers, billions of dollars that could go into job creation, or more importantly, billions of dollars that can go into reducing the cost of hydro and electricity for everyone in the province. So when we hear people that say, it's Ottawa Centre, why bother? We have many reasons why we tell people why they should bother. And as we go door to door every single day, people are now getting why they should bother. And they are bothering. And they are going to go out and vote. And they are going to elect me as the MPP in Ottawa Centre. And they are going to elect me as a part of a PC caucus for Tim Hudak who will have government on the, tw on the evening of the 12th of June. People are starting to bother. And if people bother, and they, get, and they bother to know the truth, and they bother want to have a better future in Ontario, this riding, all the other ridings in Ottawa, and Ontario, we can only get better. Tonight is a night where we help us, help the campaign, be able to do what it needs to do, whether it's getting uh, programs for getting our vote out on the 12th of June, identifying more of our supporters in Ottawa Centre. This, this evening is part of us being able to do that, and I thank you very much for being a part of it and, and for, um, for hearing uh, Professor Lee, I'll introduce uh, Ian in a few minutes, 
Um, but tonight's a part of the process, and we have a long haul to go. It's a longer election period than normal. Uh, we're now into day, I think it's day 11 or 12 of the election period. It's all one mass for me. I'll, I'll know at the end, when the poll is closed at 9 o'clock on the 12th, that it's over, and then the hard work begins as I become the MPP for the riding. But today is a part of the process of making sure that we can continue for the next 24 days doing the job that we need to do, sending the message out, whether it's by phone, by email, by people going door to door, having the signs, having the technology, the ability to reach to our supporters, and on the 12th of June, getting each and every single one of them to say, we need you to go vote, we need you to go to your polling station tonight. You asked us why bother, we've told you why bother, now we're going to bother you, we need you to go to vote and vote for Rob Decker, PC in Ottawa Centre. So tonight is a part of doing that. Thank you. I want to recognize a couple